Hi, just a quick one today. I was um, out earlier in the week doing some sketching, um, so I thought what I'd do now is uh, tear them up, play around with them a bit, recompose them, um, see if I can get some uh, interesting stuff going on in the sketchbook. So I've got a collection of sketches here that I did this week while I was out uh, at Chatsworth with a, a group of painters who I had with me. Um, really, I was just doing these very quickly um, to give the guys that were with me a an idea of the sort of um, quick, rapid mark making response sort of sketching that, that I like to do. Um, so what I thought I'd do with these is just have a bit of a play around with them and tear them up and recompose them and see if I can get something which is um, a little bit more interesting uh, out of them and uh, just keep it in my book. So the sketches themselves can just be responding to what's in front of me don't have to think about making pictures, don't have to think about um, particularly what I'm going to do with them afterwards. I kind of leave all that um, idea making, image making sort of work um, for when I get back into the studio. I quite like to separate the um, processes of drawing, um, just gathering marks, images, shapes and ideas so I like to separate that process out with the process of being in the studio and actually thinking about it. So I try and do the uh, mark making and responding to what's there while I'm outside. And when I get back to the studio, that's when I have a think about what I might do with them. So over the years, I've uh, got quite a lot of these sketchbooks now. This is just quite a recent one. This obviously these have got quite a lot of black and white uh, ink sketches in them. Uh, which I quite like doing. It's ink, pencil, there's a bit of scratching that I've done here as well for a bit of texture. I don't think there's any collage on there. There's even a bit of um, soft pastel in there just to add a little bit of colour. I find it very useful when I'm painting in the studio so that I can refer to these sketches if I, I need some marks, I need a shape, I need uh, some texture, a colour. I can, I can flip through my sketchbooks and sometimes I go back to old ones that I've had for years and pull things out of those that I didn't think anything of particularly at the time but over the years sometimes your taste changes the things that you want out of your painting changes so I think it's always worth keeping them otherwise things like this would just end up as um, scrappy bits of paper and just get, maybe end up getting thrown away in the end but keeping them in a, a book like this means they're always there for me to refer to and never really quite know when or what painting they're going to, to be useful in. So what I'll do, I think, is um, start with this one because it's got quite a lot going on in it. And I usually try and find one that's got a fair bit of interest in it and use it as a starting point. So let's see what happens if I start tearing into this.
so they can be quite quick just getting a bit more interest out of the things that I did while I was outside so you know that'll do for that one you don't have to take ages to work on them I think there's something in here which I'd quite like to work with it's a bit vague and not a huge amount of colour in it so I think I've got lots of other marks that I can probably use to uh, make it a bit more interesting but I quite like this um, little shape here as well so let's see what happens with this one I don't like to be too fiddly, sometimes you just find a nice large piece which might have some interesting brush marks and colours in it, just to give it a bit of interest. So that's it really, just uh, another couple of quick sketches um, to add to my uh, collection of things that I can refer to when I'm in the studio. 
Um, I mean, they don't have to take forever. They, they can be, you know, nice and quick, and uh, you just put them together in a um, quite sort of intuitive sort of way, really, without thinking about it too much, and just if something feels right, and just put it down and move on to the next one.